Hi, this is Kristen Bryant with Stamping with Kristen. Today I want to show you a card using the Changing Leaves stamp set and the bundle, actually the whole bundle. So there's this hybrid embossing folder that you can use just um, to add some texture or you can also die cut with it. So I'll be showing you how to do that today. And I'm going to be using Basic Beige. This is um, was added to the catalog this year and I am using this a lot. It's thick like the regular cardstock and it's a little just it's more hardy than what our vanilla um, is and so I think if you got this you would end up using it quite a bit. I'm going to start by just folding this in half. I'll use my bold folder just to get a good crease and so this is my card base and now I'm going to just move this out of the way here. I'm going to take a smaller um, piece. This is a four inch uh, four inch by five and a quarter so it just is a quarter inch less than sorry about that than the um, card base is so it gives a little border and I'm just gonna put this through and emboss it because that's gonna be my next layer there Whoop. so we'll put this you can see the the deep grooves on here hopefully you can see that um, I just really love the texture on there now I'm going to take a piece of mossy meadow I love mossy meadow for leaves and so I'm going to show you how to um, die cut with this embossing folder so there's three um, leaves that match up um, with the embossing folder there's other leaves on here too um, you could I have actually cut out this one um, if you're wanting another size of leaves but the um, dies actually come with a couple other leaf, leaves that you could use too so all I did was um, just put this in the grooves first put the piece of paper on and I like to put the fold side in first and all you need is this piece on top you don't use any of the acrylic um, pieces like, like this you don't use any of these on there so when you're doing the hybrid embossing folder. So I think you're gonna love how these leaves look after you put them through and they just pop right out of here. It gives them texture and cuts them out. So like I said, you could um, keep this, cut some of these out if you wanted, or you can just toss it. Um, and so here are the leaves aren't those great they just have some nice texture to them um, and are just great cut out like this I am just gonna be using the big one for my card today and I have just this little this is a clear envelope and I just um, keep extra so you can see I've been doing all different colors um, sometimes I use more than one size on a card but if not I just stick them in here and I'll just have fun one day creating um, with all the extra leaves that I have out so um, before I put this away, I'm gonna um, quickly just stamp a greeting from here. There's several great greetings on this Changing Leaves um, stamp set. I'm gonna use a little note to brighten the day. I know many people that could use a card that says that. And so I'm gonna just put this on a scrap of the basic beige. And so now I'm going to put this through. Um, this is just not your normal way of die cutting. So I've got the two. I've got the acrylic piece there. Oh, here's the oval. I end up with lots of things on here by the end. And hopefully my dog gets whatever he needs so he doesn't keep barking. I'm the only one home right now. <laughs> Deposit. All right, I'm gonna put this through. So here is the a little note to brighten your day, and it's got this nice stitching all around the edge. I'm gonna quick go give my dog some water so he doesn't keep barking. Sorry about that. He was out of water and food, so I'm glad I stopped because he probably would keep barking. My dog is less than three pounds, but he when he wants his food, he wants his food. All right, I'm gonna set this now aside. So I've got more space. I end up, I don't even really need this anymore. I end up with so much stuff all around me when I'm creating. I don't know what your craft table looks like, but I am not a neat and tidy 
stamper. And I like to have many projects apparently going on at the same time on my table. Are you that way? Let me know in the comments. So I'm just gonna put this on here like this. So here is my front. And now I'm going to take my leaf and I am going to use some dimensionals on the back of this just to pop it up. I like to make it stand up a little bit more, give some depth to the card. And you could do so many different colors with this. So I'll just put this kind of an angle like that. And then I'm gonna put two dimensionals on the back of this piece. And I'm just gonna put this like that. And then I'm gonna finish with some um, linen thread. Now I'm gonna kind of double this and I'm gonna just make a little tiny bow. I double it just because you see it a little bit better. It's a little thicker. Cause linen thread is pretty little. You can, I, I use linen thread a lot. I usually buy like several at a time and I feel like I'm gonna have it forever and then all of a sudden I need more. It's only $5, um, just a, a good uh, thing to have. Especially I feel like it goes really good with some leaves. So I'm gonna use a um, glue dot. Now the glue dots, <laughs> they're a little bit bigger than what you'd want for this. So I kind of squeeze it together and then place it on here. So here's my card, a little note to brighten your day. And I, I do want to show you too, um, this is pecan pie and you could see how it looks, it would look great with that too. So really you could do all different colors with this. With the basic beige um, in the back, you could um, really do pretty much any color um, will look good with this basic beige. So um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so so you can find um, out when I have new videos. And um, a little note to brighten your day, this is a great, a great greeting to have on hand. And I would encourage you to write a note to someone today who just could use a day brightener. Cards in the mail always make people feel better. So um, it takes time to get a card out in the mail. I hope you have a great day.